Hello, I'm Eugene from Magic Engineering Romania, which is a DASO system partner. I'm doing this short video because we had some questions from some of our customers about how to apply a logo or a text on a face of a part which can also be an advanced surface. The short answer for this question is this could be done using developed shapes commands. In Katia V5, these commands are integrated in the Generative Shape Design workbench, but you need to have a special license for using them. In Katia 2D Experience, the commands are in the app name Generative Shape Develop. From this app, it can be accessed also the commands. Uh, Specific, specific to the generative shape design workbench like wireframe commands, surface commands and so on. I accessed this app with the help of the 3D compass from the role named mechanical and shape designer. So where is it? Here it is. And uh, this is the app. This app can also be found in some other roles like uh, Mechanical and Shape Engineer. In this video I will uh, fold the DS logo to the aircraft fuselage. I can move the 3D model like this because I'm using the 3D connection space mouse that we are also sell other than DS licenses. You can find more information about this product from the Magic Engineering website, navigating in by product, 3D connection, space mouse enterprise. This space mouse has a lot of buttons that are easy to set, like on this digital display. Back in Katia 2D Experience, I will fold the DS logo on this face by simply using the develop command, because this face is a revolution surface, as you can see from the tree. The DS logo is made into a sketch on this plan. With develop command I will select the sketch, then the face, OK, and with the keep all the sub elements option and OK, the DS logo is apply on the face. Next I will transfer the graphic properties with uh, display object properties on this element from the sketch. But this is a simple surface. Let's see how can we apply the logo on an advanced surface like this one in the rear of the fuselage. This surface it's obviously not a revolved surface and neither an uh, ruled surface because uh, there is no line in every point of the surface as you can see from this measurement. For uh, folding the logo on this face, it must be used the transfer command, but for being able to use it we need to unfold first the face with the unfold command. For using this command I will do First, some wireframe 
a point somewhere um, somewhere here let's say on the face then uh, I will project this point onto the sketch plan okay I will uh, copy the sketch on this plan and move the geometry inside the sketch by selecting it and uh, using translate command I will put it somewhere here I exit the, ske the sketch and then back in develop I will unfold this face from this origin I'll change the direction of the axis I'll put uh, x-axis for uh, the horizontal axis orientation and uh, the target will be this plan and uh, this point for the axis system for which I will swap and reverse vertical to have the same orientation okay the surface uh, could not be unfold because as I said this uh, surface is not a ruled one with uh, all I will be able to unfold it then using transfer command I will select the surface unfold and uh, the unfolded surface is automatically selected then I will fold this sketch on the fuselage with keep all the sub elements I will hide this uh, surface then I will uh, transfer the graphic properties uh, in the same way like before using uh, object properties I uh, have a shortcut on uh, 3D connection space mouse for this command in the same way with painter I will transfer for these elements the graphic properties from these elements okay and uh, the logo it's uh, projected now also on the advanced surface from the rear part of the fuselage thank you for watching and stay tuned because we are planning to have more uh, this kind of short videos Till the next time, goodbye.